Here is a given kite, S-T-A-Y. In a given kite, there are two adjacent sides that are congruent. Have segment, S-T, is congruent with segment, T-A. Another segment, S-Y, is congruent with segment, a y but t a and a y are not congruent but they are adjacent sides given s t is equal to five centimeter what will be the measure of t a correct five centimeter Given SY is equal to 8 centimeter, what is the measure of AY? Correct, 8 centimeter. Because kite has a pair of adjacent sides that are congruent. This is given. Segment SY is equal to 54 centimeter. And AY is equal to 2X plus 14. We know that these two sides are congruent. We are referring to this SY is congruent to this AY. Therefore, both of them equals 54 cm. But if the given is like this, how are we going to find the value of X? We are just simply to substitute SY is congruent with a y and then we substitute the measurements given s y is 54 centimeter while a y is equal to 2x plus 14 so 54 so using so addition property of equality we subtract 14 on both sides of the equation so this will be 2x and is equal to 40 and then we multiply both sides by one half one half of 2 is equal to 1 times x is equal to x is equal to one half of 40 20 now we have the value of x which is equal to 20 to check if it's really equal to same sides, let us substitute AY is equal to 2X plus 14 is equal to 2 times 20 plus 14 is equal to 40 plus 14 which makes the sum is equal to 54. Now, we finally say that AY and SY are congruent having 54 cm for both sides. Next given, kite PRAY. First, let us mark the given PR and RA. So, how do we call PR and RA? They are adjacent sides and how did we describe these adjacent sides of a kite they are congruent so let's have it as an equation so we have PR is congruent with RA then we can start solving PR is 3x plus 1 is equal to RA, which is 5X minus 7. First step is to find the value of X before we can find the measure of PR and RA. So, we have addition property of equality minus 3X. So, this is 1 is equal to 
2x minus 7 plus 7 addition property 2x is equal to 8 and then multiplication property of equality x is equal to 1 half of 8 is 4 now let's find the measure of PR so x is 4 then solve for PR that would be 3x plus 1 is equal to 3 times 4 plus 1 the answer is 12 plus 1 is equal to 30 so PR is equal to 30 it follows that of course RA is equal to 13 but just to check if it's really 13 let's R solve for RA 5x minus 7 5 times 4 minus 7 is equal to 20 minus 7 is equal to 13 so RA is also equal to 30 our answer x is equal to 4 is correct given this guide B E A R now let us first name the diagonals we have segment B A and segment E R so observe this is E R and this is B A it's a right angle here what is the measure of a right angle 90 degrees if the angle formed is equal to 90 degrees then the lines that intersect are perpendicular so let us name these two perpendicular lines we have BA is perpendicular with ER that's how we write it in symbol the theorem states for a given kite the diagonals are perpendicular if this is 90 degrees all the angles 90 degrees if kite BE AR has S as a point of intersection of the diagonals let us name all the right angles that were formed so we have angle E S B angle E S A E S B and E S A another angle A S R this is A S R forms 90 degree and another B S R this is the last angle that forms a 90 degrees so there are four right angles in a given kite BEAR kite MILE with intersection of the diagonals at point S first let us name the diagonals of men ML and segment IE. A kite has a diagonal that bisects the other diagonal. So, in this given figure, which one bisects the other diagonal? When we say bisects, it will divide the other diagonal into two congruent parts. It is IE. This diagonal bisects segment ML. The diagonal IE bisects the segment ML into two congruent parts. Then, what are the two segments that are congruent? We have, yes, MS 
is congruent with LS. Correct. 12 millimeter. Let's check where PS and AS. This is PS and this is AS. So, it is from the diagonal that is bisected by LY. Therefore, PS and AS are congruent segments. Then we start solving for X. By substituting, we have 4x minus 5 is equal to x plus 10. And then we use addition property of equality. 3x minus 5 is equal to 10 plus 5 on both sides. So this is now 3x is equal to 15. We multiply both sides by one-third. So this is now x is equal to 5. If x is equal to 5, then we can now find for the segment PS, which is 4x minus 5. The answer is 4 times 5 minus 5 is equal to 20 minus 5 is equal to 15. So, segment PS is equal to 15. It follows that AS is also 15. But let's check if it is true by substituting, which is equal to 5 plus 10 is equal to 15. Then, it is really congruent segments. Given kite H O M E. Now, the theorem says a kite has one pair of opposite angles that are congruent. Let us name this opposite angles that are congruent so we have angle H and angle M or we can name it by using three letters that would mean O H E is congruent with angle O M E what will be the measure of angle M? Of course, 89 degrees. Now, how are we going to solve for the value of X? That will make it congruent angles. The measure of angle H is equal to the measure of angle M. So, let us substitute the values. We have 98 degrees is equal to 3X plus 8 degrees. So we have to use addition property of equality on both sides of the equation. That is 3x is equal to 90. Multiply both sides by one third. And the answer for the value of x is 30. If x now is equal to 30, let us check if ma the measure of angle M is really 98 degrees. Angle M is equal to 3x plus 8 is equal to 3 times 30 plus 8 is equal to 90 plus 8 is equal to 98 degrees. So the measure of angle M is also 98 degrees. What is the relationship of these two opposite angles of this kite? Angle G is congruent with angle M. So for us to be able to solve for the value of X, we must substitute 
the measurements to our equation. Angle G is 7x. Measure of angle G is 7x minus 9 is equal to the measure of M, 6x plus 3. Using addition property of equality, so this is now x minus 9 is equal to 3. We add both sides by 9 to have the value of our x is equal to 12. Now we have the value of x which is equal to 12. Let's solve for the measure of angle G. This is equal to 7x minus 9. And that is equal to 7 times 12 minus 9. 7 times 12 is 84. Minus 9 is equal to 75 degrees. So the measure of angle G is equal to 75 degrees. It follows that the measure of angle M is also 75 degrees since they are opposite angles that are congruent. But let us just solve to check if it's really equal to 75 degrees. Measure of angle M is equal to 6x plus 3. So that is equal to 6 times 12 plus 3 is equal to 72 plus 3. That is equal to 75 degrees. So the measure of angle M is also 75 degrees. Then, the opposite angles of this kite are congruent. C A R E. Now we are going to focus on the diagonal that bisects opposite angles. So first let's name the diagonal in this given A E. This diagonal bisect two opposite angles. So it means this angle here and this angle here are congruent angles. So let's name this angle C A E is congruent with angle R A E. Okay? So let's name that angles. Angle C E A this one C E A is congruent with angle R E A. These are the two congruent angles formed by the given diagonal AE. Now let's have an example. And what is the measure of angle RAE? Of course, also 60 degrees. 60 degrees. Then what is the measure of angle REA? Also 40 degrees. Because the diagonal bisect each opposite angles into two congruent angles. What if the given is like this? So we have the angle MUH. MUH is 8x plus 5 degrees and 3x plus 30 degrees for C U H okay so these two angles are congruent because it is bisected by diagonal U H okay so to solve for the value of X we simply write 
angle MUH is congruent with the angle CUH. Then we substitute 8x plus 5 is equal to 3x plus 30. Addition property of equality, combining terms on one side of the equation, plus 5 is equal to 30. Then we continue solving, still addition property. So we have 5x is equal to 25, multiply both sides by 1 fifth. Now x is equal to 5. Now we have the value of x is equal to 5. We can find now the measure of angle m u h which is equal to 8x plus 5. Now we have 8 times 5 plus 5 is equal to 40 plus 5 is equal to 45 degrees. So the measure of angle m u h is equal to 45 degrees. Thus it follows the measure of angle CUH is also 45 degrees since these two angles are congruent. But let's still check if it's really 45 degrees. So that is equal to 3 times 5 plus 30. 3 times 5 is 15 plus 30 is equal to 45 degrees. You see, now it is confirmed that the measure of angle CUH is also 45 degrees. <music>
triangles. How many? There are two isosceles triangles. So, isosceles triangle has two legs that are congruent. So, let us analyze. If the diagonal HA is drawn, so what do you think are the two triangles that are isosceles? Correct. H E A and triangle H R A. So let us name the legs that are congruent. For triangle H E A, we have segment H E is congruent with segment. A E. While for triangle H R A, we have segment H R is congruent with A R. That makes the two triangles that are isosceles.